just gonna go, she's gonna do the solo, it's gonna be good, and we're all gonna have fun. Guys, sometimes feel like a drag queen. So she took her weave out and put it in my head. Intensity dance was intense. I saw lots of mistakes, and yet this was the week where every solo needed to strive for perfection. This was the last competition before we go to nationals. You were duly warned. We won that 2011 national title. I want to win it again. Now, this week, we're going to stay right here in sunny Los Angeles, but we are going to the most famous zip code. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'm ah, sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. We are going to 90210 Beverly Hills. We are going to the Energy Dance National Invitational. Several competitions are doing this now where they invite you to come to their nationals. So it's very prestigious and quite an honor to be invited. So let's get to the pyramid. Paige, you knew you were going to be there. You forgot your dance. You have so much more talent than you're able to show, A, because of an injury, and B, because you don't remember what you're doing. Next. Nia, I thought you could have been better. I need you to be just as strong at the end as you are at the beginning. Next. I am Chloe. Chloe, you've been consistently in the top five for most of your life. Sixth is not good enough for you. Kendall, you came out there strong. You were exciting. You were energized. Your tricks were clean. Your movements were sharp. You attacked them. Everything a great jazz dance needs to be. When you started your turns, they were a bit sluggish. Even your mother pointed that out to me. Kendall beat Chloe this week. That's huge. Kendall deserves to be higher on that pyramid. Moving along. Brooke, you won. You were in the overall high scores. I was proud of you. But you know what? You are capable of doing more. And you're lazy. And you're sitting there saying, this is good. I can coast. I'm still winning. I'm still getting a platinum. I can just step out there and do one chin stand and get a platinum. That's what I see happening. Next. Mackenzie, it's the easy stuff that you mess up. The round up back handspring was great. The side aerial was great. The aerial walkover was great. This, come on. And Maddie, you're on top of the pyramid. Are you glad to be there? Abby's already defined Maddie as her national winner. Was it better to win or better to sit in the audience while everybody else gets better? Better to win. Maddie is on top of the pyramid. Of course, 
Her performance alone put her there. We are going to the Energy Dance National Invitational. Nia, Kendall, and Chloe. We're gonna teach all three of you the same choreography. I'm gonna have an audition, but Holly, Christy, and Jill will be judging. The great woman who will say. Okay, Jill. I pick Kendall. Christy. I obviously pick Chloe. Holly? Mia. So, Melissa, you get to break the tie. Oh, my God. I think that Nia should get this opportunity because she goes 100%. Who do you think is going to give us the most points? Better. That's what a judge needs to do. I just said it, and I'm not saying it again because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We already knew who was going to get it. Of course yeah. we knew. Because you wanted her to beat me. Congratulations. Thank you. Chloe, you had a fight for this solo, so I don't want to see mistakes. My new solo is called Silence, and it has a lot of emotions. I'm going to work the hardest that I've ever worked on a solo before because I really want to make Nia and Kendall proud since they didn't get their opportunity. Breathe. You OK? Got to breathe. Chloe, you have to understand, you were selected to do this solo. You were not a big winner last competition. Yes? When you walk in to this Energy National Invitational, you need to make sure that you are the intimidator. Go out there and be justice. Understand? Yes. All right, let's go from the top. And look, hide it, or it. It's all about the journal and the diary of Anne Frank. Brooke is doing a solo this week. It's about the Holocaust. I mean, this is serious for Brooke. I don't know if she has what it takes to perform this number or not. Does anybody know anything about this diary of Anne Frank? Because I have no clue of the story. I can't believe that Kelly doesn't know who Anne Frank is. I mean, that's a standard part of curriculum in middle school. You didn't have to read the diary of Anne Frank. Nope. Cartwheel. Easy, easy. I don't really know much about Anne Frank, but what I do know is that I don't think she was doing cartwheels. There's a lot that goes into this piece, and I'm watching Brooke, and she is just grimacing. Is she telling the story, or is she in pain? I don't think Brooke should dance. I took Brooke to a chiropractor, and he thinks that Brooke needs to rest. And I totally agree. Why can't Brooke do a dance with no acrobatics in her dance? You only have three days, kiddo, before you are on stage doing the summer. You're dismissed for right now. Go ahead and rest that, and then I want you back in here to finish it up. Tastes so sweet from head to feet. No, that's something that can't be beat. Mackenzie has a solo. It's music I've used before. It's called Honey Bee, but I think Mackenzie is more of a killer bee. Beautiful. She's going to go out there and sting her competition. If Vivian happens to be waiting in the wings and gets stung, oh well, hope she's not allergic to bees. Girls, this is for nationals. Hold. Boom. Run, 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 stop, spin, spin, spin. Maddie's doing another contemporary solo called Telling Myself. And it's telling herself, I am back in the game. I want to win. I want it. Right. Yes. Yeah. She's almost being a little cocky and telling the judges, I'm too good for you. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve me. This is like when I say Melissa, or we all say, when Maddie's getting better by doing this. Paige has been sitting here for two days doing nothing. I know, but the other girls were dancing too. There's a turn, is there a turn right there? And it is hard to dance when mothers are ripping on you right in front of your face. He's ripping on us. They say anything about Maddie. And Abby, by the way, I was not talking about Maddie. I was talking about how my daughter's come 3,000 miles to do three steps. And they like you, she's doing those three steps. Why? After she Why went out there and screwed up her dance and didn't do it and forgot again at 11 years old? What? I'd get back to the pediatrician and find out what's wrong, Kelly. For real? Find out what's wrong. Go. Let's go, Paige. Brooke, you can leave class too. You know what? It's getting kind of old, Kelly. You need to think of some new tricks because this whole little temper tantrum from a 40-something-year-old woman is pathetic. I've seen Kelly storm out a time or 20, 
and this time it just feels different. Abby said something so rotten about Paige, I can't blame Kelly. I would have done the exact same thing. I get it. We all get it. We know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking of the world's worst mother because you're allowing this to happen. Has she done one thing with Paige for nationals this entire time that would make you think that she wants her here? No. And I said one word about it. And she tells me I need to take my daughter to the doctors. I don't know how much people think I can take. I can't think it. Her. Lean on us. If you mm -hmm. can't do it, lean on us and mm -hmm. we will do I mean, it this for you. This is going to give me a nervous uh, breakdown. Yeah. I can't do it. Kelly is a puddle of tears right now. She's distraught. She's distressed. She's had to watch Paige being overlooked week after week. And I'm not sure she can take much more of this. We cannot let this it. woman win. We need you. That's fine. They can do it. But I can't do this anymore. This is just one more reason why I think I need to pull my kids out of the studio. Please welcome to the stage, The Last Text. I'm a little afraid that something called The Last Text may be a little too bloody and gory for a national title. Dragging out this crappy looking car seat. Did that come off of Christie's front porch? I don't know. But I'd have to tell you that her piece was was absolutely brilliant. Clean Chloe's car. Clean Chloe's car. Clean Chloe's car. All right, listen to me. I have had it. There is going to be hell to pay. If you don't win tomorrow, look out. When we have auditions for the new team in September, you will be auditioning like everybody else. There should be blood on that dance floor tomorrow. Blood on that stage. Red beef jerky blood. This is Nationals. Chloe, I'm going to have you get ready because we need to do some psyching out with Justice. Get in his face, do one right turn. Moving on to entry number 31B. Please welcome to the stage Justice performing Render. It's coming down to these two minutes on stage. You can either do it or you can choke. Please welcome to the stage, Chloe performing Silence. I love only silence and yeah, there is no use of time. I love sunny landscapes. I love the sky. No matter what happens with the outcome of this competition, Chloe went out there and she danced and she didn't choke and she believed in herself. 
So she won, no matter who gets that crown. Now's the time you change your mind and decide that you don't want me. the money she's hitting everything she has those judges in the palm of her hand it's like watching a 25 year old professional on that stage token I'm hurting my kids by pulling them out of there because they love to dance and so I don't know what's worse it's gonna be a tough decision I'm not a big fan of this dance at all. Mackenzie loves her costume. She loves the dance. She loves the hair bows. She loves it all. And you can tell that when you're watching her dance. She stepped out on stage like that killer bee, and she buzzed, buzz, 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 buzzed around that stage like there was no tomorrow. Place is entry number 31A, Mary, performing 
performing Can't Touch It from SMC Dancing. So we're down to the final three, and the last three dancers standing are Justice, Chloe, and Maddie. Any spot that she gets, I'm going to be proud. She couldn't have danced better. Third place goes to Never Surrender Justice from the Candy Apple Dance Center. Hallelujah. Chloe beat Justice. And second place, Junior Solo, which was very, very close by a fifth of a point, goes to telling myself Maddie Seaford from the Amelie Dance Center. As soon as they announced Maddie as the second place winner, everybody there knew Chloe won. And our first place, Energy, Junior Solo, for our Nationals in Beverly Hills, also being crowned Miss Energy, goes to Chloe from the Amelie Dance Center. Congratulations. And we are going to crown Chloe Miss Energy today. It feels really good to be winning Junior Miss Energy and getting the crown and plaque and the trophy. This is a really good up in my dance career and I just hope that Maddie's happy for me too because I'm always happy for her when she wins. Really good. Well everybody did a wonderful job. Take them out. Chloe, outstanding in her performance. She was the winner. She stood there very proud to win that crown and I'm thrilled. We're going to move over to the energy junior small group. In third place. The Story, a Count Dance Academy. Second place goes to Truth in Beverly Hills. And our top scoring national winner for the Energy Junior Small Group goes to entry number 138. Oh, 